again everybody uh tonight we're going to try to get the remainder of the um valve springs and keepers out of the head um last couple episodes ago uh we had some issues doing that i was trying to use a socket and a hammer to knock them out uh since then i got uh, a lyle tool i think is how you pronounce it uh it's a magnetic kind of driver boss <clears throat> put a picture up but this is also what it looks like here and uh, yeah, you put it on top and hammer it down and the keepers stick to the magnet in here. Uh, it worked fairly well. I uh, got the exhaust side off in a few minutes, five or ten minutes. Um, once I did that, uh, once I get that done, I'll uh, go through and uh, take all the valve seals off the head. Uh, I don't have a valve seal remover tool, so we're going to see what we can come up with to get those off. Uh, and then once we do that, we'll take the spring seats out and uh, what else? see where else we get tonight. All right. Okay, so we take this recessed part here. We put it so that the valve stems right in the middle of it in the keepers. Place it over top and we take our small appropriately sized hammer and give it a smack. And there's one. I don't know why one at a time comes out of here, but not really complaining. There's both. So yeah, this works great. Keeps them from going flying. Doesn't have any end to fly out like the socket earlier where I lost them last time. And it uh, doesn't take a lot of force to pop them loose either. So we'll go ahead and we'll do the rest of these and uh, we'll see where we get to after that. One more thing, I also got this from Crane Cams. It's for a V8, but because V8s, uh, most pushrod V8s that this is designed for have 16 valves in them. This being a 16 valve four cylinder, works out well. So I have my valve springs all laid out here in order, my lost motion assemblies in order, and the intake valves all in order so far. And then over here, lost motions for the exhaust side, and I'll do the same thing as the intake side. Okay, so about 10 minutes later, we got all the valves out, uh, retainers and springs out, the valves themselves actually removed. Um, next, we're going to work on the valve seals, get these removed, and then get the lower valve, seat, uh, valve spring uh, retainers out. Uh, and then we pretty much have the head stripped and ready to go. Um, yeah, we'll get that done now, and then we'll see where else we get to tonight. So I'll go through pulling these off. Okay, so I found this old snap-on seal puller here. It's one of my father-in-law's old tools. Um, so these are used for pulling seals on axles, crank seal, rear main seal, and so on. Um, but it works on these valve seals as well. Wouldn't necessarily recommend using this if it's your first time. Um, I don't know if I'd recommend using this if you have a better tool at any time, but uh, it works for this tonight. So I'm gonna use this sharper end here to get under the, the valve. And I'm just gonna pry against the outer edge of the valve seat area, which, or sorry, the uh, spring seat area. It's a non-wearing part of the head and it, this doesn't seem to be doing any damage to it anyway. So I'm going to pull up and it'll cut through the outer jacket of this seal on the way up as I go. And then I get about halfway up and I'll stop and I'll go on each side of the seal and work it up. So. There we go. So we got it out. So that's what I'm talking about, using the hook, this hook here, pry it against here to open up this metal cup because these are quite tight on the valves, uh, valve stems. And then you just use it on the other side to pop it the rest of the way up. So we'll do that on the rest of them, but that's kind of what you want to do. You want to just split it so it relieves some of the, the tension on it and then, uh, and then pop it off. So we'll do that with the rest of them here and then we'll be all set. OK, 
Okay, so see if I can get a better angle on it here. So I'm taking this end here and hooking it underneath the valve seal right there. And I'm prying against the edge of the spring seat. As you can see, it's not doing any damage. So we'll do that and we'll lift up. Let's see if I can do this one handed. You can see it kind of peels the seal back a bit. Sorry guys, camera's wobbly. I'm trying to do this one handed. And then we'll take it in. We'll get it on the side here, actually right here, and then on the other side, and just give it a quick dry up and it should pop off. Oh. Sorry, I can't do this one handed. I gotta put this back in the tripod. All right, that was my attempt at a close-up of this, but with the camera equipment that I'm using, it doesn't work. Oh, there we go. The reason why that one was hard to get off because I did it one-handed and I didn't didn't slice up the side of the... All right, sorry my good light died, but uh, here's one of the spring seats. I'm just going through and pulling them off of each, uh, off each one, and uh, once we do that, the, the head's pretty much fully stripped as far as I want to go with it. Um, as far as I think a machine shop will need me to go with it. So uh, we want to keep these in order as well. We want to put these with the spring that, uh, that, that it's married to. So I'm using my organizer again down there to uh, pair these up. So go ahead and do these and uh, we'll see where we're at. So as you saw, we got uh, the exhaust valve keepers out, valve springs out valve seats out, valve seals out. Uh, we've got the head pretty much stripped as far as I'm going to go. Uh, there's nothing else I'm going to take off the head before it goes to a machine shop. Uh, the one thing I'm going to try to do though is I'm going to try to port match the inlet and exhaust ports to the uh, gaskets. Uh, reason for that is just to clean up the flow. Um, if you port match then you've got a nice um, turbulent free flow through the system. So I'm going to take a look at it. I don't think it's going to need very much, um, but it's worth doing since I have it apart. And once I get that done, that's ready to go off the machine shop. Get off the machine shop, get that uh, cleaned up and probably surfaced. We'll get it back. We'll do a valve grind on it and, or do the valves on it and uh, start reassembly. All right. We'll see everybody next time. Bye-bye.